Goon, Jillian, Leanne, and Sam. Joining us by the phone is Stacy Nelkin. She dated Woody Allen in 1977. At that time, in 1977, he was 42. She was just 17. She is currently the founder of the DailyAffair.com. Stacy, what do you make of Dylan's accusations? Uh, I it, first of all, my heart goes out to Dylan because I think she. She became a, a pawn and a horrible victim in this disgusting scandal that I think the behavior of Woody and, and Mia Farrow were, was horrible on both parts. And uh, unfortunately, this vendetta that Mia has against Woody has continued. There's no expiration date. It's continuing, and then 21 years later, going strong. And, and um, Stacey? You know, I, I, I feel Stacey, terrible you, for you, Dylan. Stacy, you dated him for like two years, is that right? And you were like 19 That's to 21, correct. is that is that right? Now, That's correct. you started, he started expressing interest to you in you when he was 17, you were 17 and he was 40, 42, is that accurate? He Outrageous. was 41, but, you know. Okay, but do you understand that doesn't, <laughs> I mean, that doesn't uh, come on. exactly, yeah, that doesn't exactly buttress his case, you know what I mean? It makes it look, it makes him well, look like that, a guy no, that's interested no, in young girls. Excuse girl. me one second, that has a, a man being interested in, in a younger woman has nothing to do with accusations of child molestation. And that is where this, this entire thing I find very upsetting because most people are blurring the lines here and are not making a big distinction between a man that finds younger women attractive and children, prepubescent seven-year-old girls who are their adopted daughter, by the way, uh, sexually appealing. There's a okay. big, big difference. All right. There is a, I agree with the big difference, say. but there's Wait, not a gigantic also, rift. Ladies, I, I, I'll you tell know, you, there's a rift between... <laughs> Somebody like myself that likes adult women and, and people that like either category, adolescent or child. But Jillian's been through this. Jillian, what do you say to Stacey? Well, I'm just, I'm curious, Stacey, do you, so you don't believe this happened to Dylan? So you're basically saying that Dylan's voice doesn't matter? No, I, I, my, the first thing I said, if you heard me, was that my heart goes out to Dylan because she was a victim of all of this. I believe that Dylan believed that this happened. And I, be, I believe that she has been in a lot of pain for many, many years. But, but you're, but you're basically saying you think she made it up. You, you think she I, made it up. I Mia put so. it in her head. I think it's very possible that this, that the woman who's adopted many on, children, fantasy going on, all kinds of things go on in a seven-year-old's head. But you know, if you look at the well, McMartin let me tell you case, something. The, I, the, the I, I was, I was molested. I was molested unreliable I was molested as a seven-year-old and I have a seven-year-old now sorry. and to think That's that horrible. you would put that in their head is just to me here's a woman who's adopted many children dozens of children special needs children she's gonna put uh -huh. pick one and say let's go after Woody and then that child 21 no, years no, later suddenly why, why would she together. put herself in that position she was their why would this child why would together. Dylan let, let you me, think let me, molestation doesn't happen uh, in can I, families? Samantha, go ahead. Oh, no, I, I believe it yeah, happens, I, but I don't think that Woody molested I, her. I think if, you if don't somebody think is so. a child okay, molester, many, many people on. usually come out of the closet here. Samantha. There was no what? history oh. prior. Yeah, well, I do no think that... Subsequently. Stacey, do you have any specific mm -hmm. occurrences, um, interactions with Mia Farrow that would lead you to believe that she was manipulative and planted this in her daughter's mind? Uh, no, but after when all of this happened, I received a call from somebody in Mia's camp asking if I would testify that I was 15 when I was dating Woody, and I was not, and I said I will not wow. do that. I was 17. Well, that is evidence. Um, I don't that, know that if that is was evidence. one of her lawyers or whomever. That's, a, well, that's interesting. That's a piece of evidence. <laughs> that's a piece of evidence. And, and uh, Le Leanne. Can I ask and, one and question, please? Yeah, Shaguna, I'll let you. Thank you for getting your yes, bow tie please. on finally, Shaguna. Yeah, I, well no, no, I, felt, I, felt, I felt incomplete without it. My question yes, is, doesn't there seem to be too much smoke around this fire? I mean, his name is involved too often with younger women, and 42 and 17 is a very large gap. We're basically saying that it's it's not that large of a gap for him to jump to a seven-year-old, and there's been too much smoke oh, yeah. around this man for me okay, to just sit there and say, let's, let's it's, it's not, it, this, it's girl's not accurate. Go ahead, Stacey. I'm sorry, there is a huge, huge difference between a seven-year-old child 
And I was 17, but I was not a typical 17. And I saw all your head ladies shaking when you, you know, when you said he dated a 17-year-old. I grew up in New York from a uh, dysfunctional home. I was very ah. out there. Oh my! I was looking okay. for but an Stacey, old man. That, that, that makes you a good prey. That makes you a good victim. Exactly. Now, exactly. That, makes you, that makes you a morsel. Stacy, let me. You have children, right? Stacy, do, do you have any teenagers in your in your, I in your do. children? Do, I do. You be a little, but I also a little... have been married for 16 years, very happily. No, no, I and understand. My daughter is in a very different situation than I am. But you'd be flipped out if she dated a 40. If she were 17 to, if she were 19 and dating a 40-year-old, that would flip you out, would it not? Thank you. Yes, it probably would, but I don't think the need <laughs> would be there. And the need was there for me, and there was, uh, it was completely consensual. All right, but you know, listen, I, it's Stacey. almost like you're defending that. The well, need well, should on. not have been let there me get, for let him. Let me get Leanne. Leanne, you haven't had a chance to talk yet. Leanne, please go ahead. Well, what I was talking, uh, what I want to make a mention of is when you're talking about the age difference, you know, and Mia was talking about, um, you know, she was offended that he was having an affair with Sun Yi, who was 19 or 21. We're not sure which, but she was an adult either way. Sure, it was, he was a father figure to her, regardless that he was not her actual father because that was her ex-husband. But when Mia got together with her ex-husband and married him, she was the same age that Sun Yi and Woody Allen were. So she was also a young bride, oh, but nobody ever seems to talk about that's that. That's really interesting. This so much, there's so much right. interesting in this. And Stacey, I really appreciate you coming in and, and putting My your gloves pleasure. on and, uh, and letting our panel have at you. But we may want to talk to you again because this is, there's a, just, it's, as usual, you know, lots things are, are, you know, lots of layers, things are messy, and it's usually not just all one person or all another. It's both of them in getting into this and making the craziness. All right, we reached out, I want, I want to remind everyone, we reached out to Mia Farrow's. Uh,